Hi there. Welcome to the C-Suite Sessions. I'm Tevis Trower, and I created this series as a set of tools for us who are busy, who have a lot of impact on the world and want that impact to be positive. Tools to help us make it so by being more clear and more intentional in how we move through our days. So this practice is called I, Thou, Here, Now, and it's a direct lift from an Austrian-Israeli philosopher named Martin Buber. And he came up with this concept, I, right, thou, here, now, as a framework through which to elevate our conversations and our relationships. Now, akin to namaste, be the change you wish to see in the world, akin to all of that, this framework is actually a really powerful way to clear what's going on on the inside, right? To really set a stage for whatever the interaction is that you're moving into, to be as skillful, as auspicious, and as aligned as it possibly can be. So think about it. The minute you regard another person as a thou, You've already elevated yourself, right? You've already said, this is the place I'm coming from. So I, thou, here, now. Which means that everything else falls away. That whatever we imagine has happened in the past or might happen in the future, that we just let all of that fall away. And we be present right here, right now with that thou and with our more auspicious, wise aspects of self. So we're going to try this, okay? There's a couple ways to practice with it. But I want you to notice, even as you just close your eyes, just notice how having entertained those concepts and maybe allowing the words, I thou here now, I thou here now to flow through your body. That there's a sense of expansion. There's a sense of aliveness. This energy that you are is the same energy everyone else is. And by both acknowledging it and doing so in the context of right now, of being present, you access a freer sense, a more auspicious sense of who you are, who others are, and what the possibilities might be. So we're just going to try this as you're watching those words flow through your body. You're watching the impact of this concept flow through your body. I thou here now, I thou here now. So we're just going to slow it down a little, okay? So we're going to inhale I. Exhale with just absolute graciousness, thou. Inhale here. And exhale, really letting yourself fall into the moment now. So try that once in your mind's eye as you inhale to see yourself as the most wise version of you. As you exhale, maybe someone comes to mind. Hold them in their most auspicious expression of who they are. Inhaling, breathing in right now. Let the past and the future be exactly Exactly what they are, nothing but an idea. You're drawing into right now, and then exhale. Now. So if you want to do some advanced placement, you could try that with someone you feel a little contentious about. And we're going to do one more practice with that. So maybe you find someone that you don't have outright conflict with, but 
you don't always find your way to each other from a, a wisdom perspective. And you're just going to inhale, seeing yourself in your most wise, auspicious, benevolent, and then hold. And think to yourself, thou, I'm going to hold that aspect of myself and think of this other person. And then exhale, really falling into the here. Right here, no other place, your mind not racing off. And then hold, just for a heartbeat now. Inhale, I. Hold on now, thinking of their auspiciousness, their wisdom that may be different from yours. And then exhaling here and holding now. One more time, inhaling I. Hold thou. Exhaling here. And holding now. So you can actually stretch that out even more. <laughs> you can make that inhale I. Exhaling. Inhale thou. Thinking of someone. It could be a friend or foe. And exhale. Inhale here. So you're holding auspiciousness right where you are. And exhale. And inhale now. Not past, not future, just right now. Hold it. So you can use this with friends, you can use it at work. Um, I was thinking a lot about how our presumption can be that um, if we're in a place of power that we just do what we want. And, but what's really funny is relationships matter no matter where in a given pecking order you sit. And learning to lead from that kind of auspicious wisdom and really invite that forth from others. It does have magical results. So um, try it, like it, share it, comment. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, and if there's something that you would like me to create a C-suite session about, it would be my pleasure. Have a beautiful day.